Did you know that Vladimir Putin, the Russian's president, he's passed a law that any Russian who grows or sells genetically modified foods is to be considered a terrorist. Whew. He's even giving land away to Russians who will grow food organically, non-GMO. You put his name and GMO in Google that and you'll read the spiel. He says, we Russians look across at the West, over vaccinated, over medicated, over fed, sitting in front of boxes every night in their lounge rooms, eating food that has no nutrients, he said, and we know it's weakening the West. Is he right? Yeah, Absolutely right, yeah. In Unfortunately, Monsanto is so powerful and so wealthy and so big, they win every court case where Australians want GMO to be labelled on the products. Happens in America too, it's unfortunate. So how do you know? Well, you don't, unless you buy organic. You see, if an organic farmer uses genetically modified seed, they lose their organic status. So grow as much as you can yourself. And the more Aussies that buy organic, the more organic will be available. One organic tomato will give you nine times the iron of a conventionally grown tomato. So you get much more value for your money, even though organic is more expensive. Genetically modified food happens when the DNA of two different species are spliced together to create, for instance, DNA of the tomato with the DNA of an Atlantic salmon hoping to create a tomato that grows in the snow but actually it doesn't grow in the snow and it has five centers instead of one and there's all these strange things happening and when the person eats that tomato it breaks down to molecules that your body cannot recognize and has the ability to damage your DNA. 